Hello everyone, the end of the school year is almost here and for us teachers that means cleaning up not only our cabinets but also our digital world as well as setting up some things for the following year. One of the great advantages of using Google for Education is that it allows you to make a copy of an entire class inside Google Classroom. Yes, and this is called a class template. This is an easy process that is ideal to set your next class and have it ready. If you are teaching the same class next year, with this option you will be able to save all the assignments uh, you used this year as drafts, including the class title, description, course, subject, all the sections you used, as well as the topics of each and every classwork. This also includes all the assignments, quiz assignments, questions and materials, which as I mentioned before, are copied as drafts without a scheduled date. After making this copy, you can post the assignments as, as you need, or if you know when you will be given those assignments, you can schedule them for future dates. Please keep in mind that there are items that will not copy to your new class, like teacher announcements, deleted classwork uh, items, uh, students and co-teachers, and student posts and attachments that you don't have permission to copy. So uh, consider these as you design your next class template. Once the copy is made, it is always a good practice to revise or delete the assignments or activities that you will no longer use. Okay, so after this brief overview, let me show you then how to create a class template in Google Classroom. First, you need to decide which class you want to create a class template. And uh, what you have to do is to click on the three dots. You have, uh, you see three dots here on each, uh, on the top right of each class. Click on the three dots and click on copy. All right, it will be prompt with this, uh, with this dialog. Um, it has the same class name. Just, they just added copy of, you delete it. If you want to add the school year, you can add it. Let's say 2021, 2022, uh, probably the same period, the same subject. If you want to update the room or you can leave it blank, doesn't matter. Then you just have to click on copy. This uh, action may take a few minutes. Sometimes it takes longer. You just have to leave it there and it will be working in the background. In the meantime, you can uh, continue working on Google Classroom as a regular. And um, it doesn't matter that this is creating class. It says creating class. You can even close Google Classroom. And once you reopen it, maybe later in a few minutes, you will see that it has uh, uh, the new class is already created. Don't worry th if the new class disappears, it's still working on the background. Once a new class is created, the class template is created, you will see it here in the first place. You can click here to uh, verify the information. This is a new class that I just created. No announcements, but if you click on classwork, I have all the drafts okay, for next year, all the activities that I used this school year, they are all ready for next year. All right, you just need to click on it, edit the assignments, and schedule it. You can schedule it for later, whenever you want. It's all ready there. All the links, all the class materials, all the topics are already here. No people only you in there, no grades, and again, no announcements. Once this is all done, this is ready, then you can proceed and archive the old class. This is a very good practice so you don't get confused and you don't get too many uh, classes inside Google Classroom. You just archive it here. And that's it. You just learned how to create a class template in Google Classroom so your next class is already set up for the whole following school year. This has been Jorge Perez Barrios from the Western York School District. Thank you very much for watching and liking this video and subscribing to the channel.